Welcome back to Trash Panda Off-Road. Today, I'm gonna to tell you the new plan for all my samurai projects. Originally, all three of my samurai projects were up for sale. Uh, convertible, that something's wrong, either transfer case or transmission. Wheeler rig, Toyota axles, something's wrong with the engine. Uh, the two liter needs the correct starter and I can't show it to you yet but all the way in the back is the stretched one so anyways I put all of them on the marketplace and uh, set a date to say if they sell before that date then I'm okay and if they don't then I will keep them so uh, that date has passed and now I'm gonna keep them which is actually okay so here is the original well the newest latest greatest plan in a week and a half september 14th we're gonna have a little work party over here at my place so if you're local and you want to turn some wrenches hit me up on the instagram we're gonna take that body and put it onto that chassis and take the tin top body put it onto that chassis and the reason for that is this is mine, titled and body, all that good stuff. This car here has no documentation. And so we were going to just move everything from this rig to that rig. But as it turns out, it's actually going to be easier to just swap the bodies. We're going to take the clip off, take the front end off. That engine is going to come out of there. Um, that engine will be moved into there because that transfer case has gears in it. And in theory, that will be on top of that, ready to go and ready to run. And we will be taking it to Evans Creek on September 28th. Um, again, if you're local, there's a group of Suzuki's going up to Evans Creek in Washington. on um, the weekend of, I believe, September 28th. So check out the local Facebook groups. I want to say it's Pacific Northwest, Suzuki, Geo, X90 page, something along those lines. Um, that's where this information is going to be. So, main reason is, obviously, uh, the lift is already in here. The Toyota Axe is already in here. The power steering box is already welded to the frame. The shock towers are already welded there. So, it's just going to be easier just to do the swap. Like I said, take the clips off, take the hood off, take the doors off. We've done body swaps before on the channel. Go back, you can look it up. Uh, we've done geo tracker body swaps. So kind of familiar with the process. Won't be a big deal. And uh, like I mentioned, this motor will go into here. And the 2.0 that's in here is going to go into the Overland build. Here's the Overland build. This car hasn't ran in like a year. Um, this became a catch-all. Got some kayaks pushed against it. Got a bunch of camping gear in it. Um, basically, put the 2.3 in here. Well, I had a 2.0 in here. Ran it for a while, blew it up. Put a different 2.0 in here, ran it for a while. Uh, overheated that one. And then I did a 2.3 swap. Um, but that block had issues and ended up freezing up on me before I got around to fixing it. So we're going to put the two liter out of the tin topped Samurai in here and hopefully get that thing running again. But back to Samurai plans, the stretch Samurai. So the plan now for the stretch Samurai is to take everything out of that four door sidekick engine transmission transfer case all the wiring including headlight wiring taillight all the wiring and put it into the samurai this will be converted into a samurai pickup so we're going to take all that stuff and put it in here because it's already been trashed and gone through um, the guy had the 4.3 in here so everything's all chopped up the wiring is garbage um, so we'll have to redo the wiring anyway so we'll just run all that other wiring as you see there's a big hole here so there's plenty of room to put stuff 
and uh, because this thing stretched 11 inches we're gonna put a back right here and turn it into a little pickup I have seen all kinds of fiberglass pieces that go here and fiberglass tops that go up here what I've decided to do and it's not my idea I saw it from somebody else third generation forerunner hatch has the window encased in the hatch and if you can figure out how to get that in there you will have a window that rolls down and that will be awesome then I have to find the top hard top section the fiberglass section that would go with that top it's a guy who wants that top in Lapine I got to get back a hold of him because I'm gonna sell it to him but I am in the market for that section if anybody has one lying around uh, they want to sell me and that's what we plan to do with the three samurais we have lying around hopefully we'll get the uh, white one swapped over and be able to run that up at Evans Creek um, and then it'll be the backup wheeler so we'll have it just in case the trash panda ever goes down or if we want uh, to let some friends go wheeling with us we'll have an extra rig and then we'll be able to get the overland build going which we'll be able to get back to camping and commuting in that thing. And then we'll go on to this one. So in theory, mm, they've already sat around. This one's sat around for a year now. Um, so hopefully, well, I don't know. I don't have a deadline. We'll just do the best we can as it comes up. But if you guys want to help, uh, there's always a wrench that needs to be turned over here if you guys are bored and want to come help. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, appreciate everybody's support. Put your comments down below. Let me know what you think of my plans. If you think I'm an idiot for trying it. Or uh, if you wish you would have saw those rigs when they were on the marketplace and bought them. Also, follow along. Trash Panda Off-Road on the Instagram. As we get into these projects, there will be a lot more updates.